Welcome back to Star Wave Fleet, my friends. I realize I might have been a tad unfair to the game in the last entry. Um, I, I realize now that the game supports VR, so I don't know. Maybe you can only have so many commands when you have VR. I don't have VR. I don't know. But just one button. That's all I ask. One button to target the nearest enemy. Just one button. On the gamepad, even. Surely you can do that. Make it optional. Just add it. Anyway, so I figured I'll do, let's do one more, like, actual one of these. Is it an escort mission? Okay. Okay. Um. We're also going to try these as well. And then, I'm going to just, I don't know. And we'll try a mission as like Elite and see how that works out. But there's no point because there's no score. So, like, am I just challenging myself? Like, what's the point? You're not trying to score chase or anything. I don't understand. I'm all right. I'm all right. By the way, the fan is on, so you might hear a The enemy ships have jumped, I repeat. All enemy ships have jumped away. Something's off here. What if they just assessed our forces and located our position? Who knows what they're up to? Keep your eyes peeled. Watch out. A further wave of talking ships into the sector. Wow. All fighters. We have more than 30 bandits inbound. Wait and keep your distance until they get closer. Let's engage them on home ground. Okay. approaching in a wedge formation. Cruiser Canopus and Cruiser Scorpius. Form up in kill formation. That doesn't look like a wedge formation to me. Maybe I'm wrong? Maybe I'm wrong and it's not Fighters, a wedge. Destroy the shield generators on the Dorgan carrier. Come on, uh. pilots. Target the shield generators. Let's smash them. Okay, I guess that's what I'm going to do. I I guess. Got to find them first. Whoa! Ah! That was fun. All right, here we go. Shield generators, yes. Woo! Okay, that was funny. Uh. This is Super Cruiser Leonis. If one Tolkien ship gets through here, we'll not only lose this battle, we'll lose the whole war. Oh, okay, okay. Shield generators. The enemy cruiser is still maneuvering and closing in. Cruiser Canopus, it is heading right toward your position. Oh, Copy okay. That. We're checking their trajectory. Whatever they're doing, we're watching. Damn. Target command ship just jumped in the former position of the cruiser. What? So this is what they are up to. What? Now we're in serious trouble. Cruiser Scorpius, take evasive action and match the Target command ship's vector and speed. Understood. All oh, frigates, engage the Tolkien command ship. Get to it. This is Cruiser uh, Scorpius. The ship suffered extensive damage. Our shields can't repel the tactical Tolkien okay, command ship for long. Oh, fighters, target the command ship's tactical torpedo launchers. All elements, you heard them. Arm your missiles. Wait for a positive lock, then blast them to hell. Okay. Um, sure. Oh no! 
I'll have to. Oh no! Let's try another mission because we can. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Uh, let's. Oh, defend. So these are the. These are the um. The ten missions that come with the game. Let's uh. Let's try this. Why not? Panthers claws, intercept and engage enemy fighters. Roger that. All frigates, attack the container ships. All frigates? Did I, did that, did you just, all frigates? Okay, um, let's. Oh. It was a trap, I repeat, it was a trap. They blew up an electromagnetic pulse bomb. Does anyone read me? This is Frigate Doratus, copy that. It looks like Cruiser Canopus has knocked out by the EMP. This is the flight leader, Cruiser Canopus, do you read me? Damn, Cruiser Canopus, come in! Boink, it seems that their energy system is disabled. Yeah, it, it looks like it now. Now what are we gonna do? Damn, I'm hit! We have enemy contacts. Torgian battleships just jumped in. Our primary goal is to protect the Canopus while they are out. Okay, um... Sure. I'm hit. Oh, no. face seriously in my face um there's a problem because there's no uh overarching campaign you know there's no uh there's nothing stringing these together like character or narrative i have contact i'm picking up another group of torgian fighters oh my gosh uh i actually just like don't care like, oh no, we're gonna lose the cannabis. So? Is that my home? Like, do I live there? I don't know. Why do I care? Ah. Cruiser cannabis. We're back from the dead. Yeah, it's good to hear your weapons again. Let's wipe this sector clean, then get the hell out of here. With pleasure. Um, so yeah, like, because, because there's no, uh, there's no narrative, like, why do I care about the cannabis? It's not like the tiger's claw or something where it's like, wow, that's my home. I have to protect it. I have an emotional connection to that ship. Nope, not here. Not here. I don't know my wingmen at all. You know, or anything. Like, flight leader. I don't know. Fighter Gutika. Sure. Oh, no. We lost a frigate. Oh, no. See, I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I just don't. Oh no, we lost another frigate. Oh gosh. Yeah, don't care. Don't care. Do not care at all. So let's uh, let's try some of these other modes. Oh, well, hang on. Multi. So. No, hang on. So let's try survival. Ten waves. Six waves. There's two survival modes. Sure. Rookie, why not? Two survival modes. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Yep.
Oh yeah, by the way, I can dock back in there if I want to replenish missiles or... Enemy light fighters ahead. Whatever. Oh no, here they come! I don't even know what they're called because... Because there's no targeting display! Like, there's no, like, any kind of target indicator, like, name, uh, or anything. Just, just a couple of health bars. Like, it's, like, it's, like, I'm playing, like, I'm playing Diablo or something. Um, yeah, I just don't care. Um, let's see what else we have. So, what can we do here? Uh, oh. Two custom, there's two custom battles. Okay, so... Bonk, 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 bonk. Let's just add all this stuff. Why not? Let's just add everything. See what happens. Sure. Start as a rookie. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. What? What? Uh-huh. So bored, you guys. So bored. Oh my god, I'm so bored. Alright. Wow. That's kind of neat. So they definitely have the engine that can handle all this. I mean, this is... Whoa! This is very pretty. You know? And look at all this stuff going on. And a lot of ships firing. You know? And lots of lasers happening. And, and my... I'm not slowing down at all. I mean, this is really impressive. This is a really nice engine. And the flight doesn't feel too bad, I guess. It just needs a re it just needs a few things. It, and th and these things can be patched in. It needs targeting uh, capabilities and it needs some kind of reason to play the missions besides just shooting things. Just give me a score, you know, or or something. Give me like any like oh, and you gotta switch those numbers around nine slash eight. Like no, that's not how no that's not how those things work. Should be eight slash nine or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, but do do. But yeah, this, so this is. An, I mean, flight wise, it feels kind of competent, you know. And and the ships, look, they look they look pretty great. I mean, they look pretty. Look, I mean, look at that. That's a cool looking ship. That's a good size. That, that is a good. That's a good size ship. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Um, so, this is, hang on, how much is this? Okay, right now it's $9. It goes for $10. You know what else is $10? Free Space 2, which is better than this in every way, except... Maybe graphically, but you add, you apply the free space open stuff. It gives this a run for its money. I'm sorry. I know I've only played this for. God, I've, on the video here, I've only played it for um, forty ish, forty five minutes. But uh, in real life, I've played for about an hour, and I can't recommend this. I can't. If it was still cooking in early access. You know, if they're still going to be working on it. Sure. I'd be like, yeah, oh, keep an eye on it. You know, maybe it'll be great by the time it comes out, but it's out. It's already out. And. Uh, like. It can be great. This could be great. It needs. It just needs again. It needs a narrative to tie the missions together. A reason to care. It needs some kind of score. So you can like go, oh, I feel like I accomplished something rather than just I won. And it needs targeting. Just the most basic targeting. Just that, even. Just let me target the nearest ship. That is all I need. It doesn't even have that. Double check. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Let me double check. And no. Power, 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 power. No targeting. Whatsoever. So... 
I can't recommend this right now. I can't. I just can't. I, and there, that's. And you know what sucks about this? There aren't a lot of new first-person flight sims out there. There's this, and there's that other terrible one I played a few months ago that was just awful. I can't remember the name of that one now. It's like, why can't someone make a good one? If you've not played Free Space 2, and you have $10 to burn, go buy that. Do not buy this. I don't care how new or pretty or shiny it is. Go buy Free Space 2. It is, in every way that matters, a better game. Because I, oh God, this is so frustrating. That's, oh, the most frustrating thing about this is it has, it could be good. It could be great. But it's not close at all. And they decide to release it, and it feels like it's half the game it could be. And that's just a goddamn shame. So I'm sorry. I can't recommend it. Don't buy it. Don't play it. Buy Free Space 2 or play that instead if you already own it. You'll just have a better experience because that's still one of the best stories in all of space gaming. Best flight model. The best HUD. The best targeting. Just everything is the best. And this is a fraction of that. If, if, if that. I, I... I'm just so mad. I'm so mad because this could be great. And it's not. So I'm sorry. I know I hate when I get have to get negative. I hate being negative about games. I love games, but I I I ugh. So frustrated right now. It's okay, cat. It's okay, Murphy. I'm all right. Cat came in and was like, "What's going on, Brian?" Um rubbed it, rubbed her head against me. You're a sweetheart. Um, yeah, I am going to uninstall this as soon as I'm done recording. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Maybe they'll add stuff. Maybe I'll come back to it. But for now, uh, uh-uh. I am done. I'm going to go play something I actually enjoy now. I feel like I've wasted an hour of my life on this. I'm sorry. I do. And developers, if you're watching, get your shit together. You shouldn't have released this. Not in this state. It feels incomplete. It feels half-assed. And ten dollars. I'm not going to refund it because I want to see if it gets better. I hope it does. Fix your damn shit. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you later. <laughs>